최고 Uh oh, this is foul hooked. <laughs> it's not small either. What's he gonna do? He's gonna stitch me on the anchor, isn't he? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really ready for this. I think we might need to pull the anchor, Dave. Alright, good day, guys. We've spent the last few days up the creek here just few days of mixed results some good and some bad but you come up I found a few shreddies the other day and I'll show you some of the punch marks like this is what you're looking for when you're looking for threadies. this is a pretty telltale sign that they've been feeding on the higher tide as the tide comes in they'll push all the prawns and small bait fish up against the bank and corner them against the mud and that's the end result of it there so we've just come down it's almost bottom of the tide there's not much run which is ideal for these they sort of get seem to get out and moving around a bit more so they're looking for food so i'm going to try a little bait fish profile dave's going to try a little shrimp i guess a little shrimpy looking thing he's got but um we'll see how we go it's a solid school of threadies and probably a little grunner and blue salmon and stuff spot lock just behind him and work our lures back through the current so it looks nice and natural. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> oh, a little queenie sound. Oh, you just woke up. <laughs> Go, what a beast in the flathead. I'm surprised if these hooks last. <laughs> He's not a bad little one. Yeah. He's under the boat. I thought he was triple the size the way he fought. Yeah. Are you gonna try and lift him? Whoop. That's actually a nice flat end. Maybe 50 odd? Good work. Yeah, you're right. Chuck him back. I'll get this. <laughs> you ever seen a bloke scared to pick up a flathead? Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even have any grips to grab him out with. <laughs> oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> yep, that was a good bite, too. Yep. <laughs> 
<laughs> Playing up. <laughs> That's cool, man. That was a good bite. <laughs> Got him. swimming off there. Good about the technique I guess is I'm just casting up against the bank. It's obviously a little bit shallower there and it drops down to about three meters just in front of that a couple of meters so what I'll do is I'll let it hit the bottom and I'll just watch the line until you see the line relaxes. Wind up a little bit of tension and then two short sharp little hops and then as it drops down I'm just watching that belly and control and descent and then the line relaxes there that's the bottom. So I'll just continue that all the way back to the boat and control that drop and wait for the bite. You know, if this boat wanted to stay on spot lock, it'd be great, but this motor's playing up and it's really making things difficult for us. But yeah, basically that's the, that's the trick with it, just controlling that drop and sort of feeling the lure as it falls back down, because a lot of your bites do come on the drop. All right, I'm gonna anchor us up and, and get stuck into it. A lot to thank me and Coda for this session, for fucking it up. So it's just about controlling that descent and feeling that weight as the lure sinks down, and just being ready for a bite because these things will pick them up and spit it back out before you can react a lot of the time. So it's just about being quick and, and just really feeling every, every centimeter of that drop. I'm just sort of fan and cast along the bank because I know the fish will be up in there and they'll just be moving along sort of as they're moving I'm hoping to intercept them and give them a realistic looking presentation so I can get the bite <laughs> Things are savage. I don't know about that. Things are bluey. Long salmon. Get out. Picked up one on the drop. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's cool. There is a bull shark next to the boat too. Somewhere, so. Hopefully, it doesn't come up now. That was cool. I hooked one, lost it, and this thing jumped on. Get in the boat. Another fun one, it's a little baby, perfect release. <laughs> Good. This 
the little one here. It's a Molex RT shard, three and a half inch with a little prototype jig head. Running a heavy leader, I've got a 70 pound um, mono leader there. It's just nylon, super stretchy. It's good for when you, know, you get the barra and that. If they jump on, you've got something a little bit heavier, but the good thing about this leader is quite thin compared to a lot of other nylons. Throwing that on this little Dobbins, that's gonna be 702, 100 HG Conquest with um, 30 pound sunline castaway. So if I do get a decent barra jump on, I've got half a chance with that kind of gear, but it's still gonna be fun if we're only catching small stuff. As soon as I turn the camera off, little tiny Dewey. Look at him. Get out of here. Alright. My leader's looking a little bit cooked, but it's 70 pounds, so I'm gonna be lazy. <laughs> As soon as I turn the camera off, get a bite, eh? <laughs> mm. Something tiny. Jellyfish. Yeah, no. Yes. Come on, big dog. Uh oh, this is foul hooked. <laughs> it's not small either. What's he gonna do? He's gonna stitch me on the anchor, isn't he? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really ready for this. I think we might need to pull this anchor, Dave. I've got heaps of line, but it's not showing signs of slowing down. Yeah. He's fucking gonna get me. He's, he's already got me to back him. No. Fuck. He's got me to back him. That's too late, bro. <laughs> you had me to back him down to nothing. The 150 meters all around. What was that? Huh? What was that? Don't know. I reckon I'll probably foul hooked a bull shark. bull shark or a big barrel. Ah, oh, that sucks. And that is why you don't be lazy. I don't think he was foul hooked. No. Huh, that wasn't good. No. <laughs> Oh, drop that anchor back in then, eh? <laughs> and that is why you don't anchor up. That's the bit I was going to cut off. It's just broken at the knot. So, I wouldn't say it's a dodgy knot. I think it was just the weakest link with 150 metres of line out because the backing knot wasn't going to give way and that's 30 pound braid. And... <sighs> oh well, I'm going to change colour now. Wakasagi. Like See if that one gets better.